Hi, uh, another quick video. So you might remember I was having trouble with uh, these AT11 modules, they're wireless UART. Um, I think I've figured out the problem. I think it's, it's the UART timing on these boards is not quite right. OK for picks, uh, pick 16s and 18s, that sort of stuff, but my pick 32 wouldn't read the data coming off one, nor would if you saw the other video, nor would this TTL UART to USB adapter. It's only a pound uh, and they work really well, but this, you might remember, wouldn't communicate with that, so it wouldn't communicate with the PC, etc. So let me just. So that wouldn't communicate with that, but now what I've bought from eBay, just under £8 each, bought them from a good company. I'd, I'd recommend them actually. They're in China. Uh, they're called Dev Kits, and I got these two boards within a week of buying them. Uh, $12.99 or £7.99 in free international shipping. So, this is uh, they both work or communicate via Bluetooth. Uh, so, UART to Bluetooth, Bluetooth UART. Uh, and same as before, I've got the, uh, that's a Digilent uh, GPS connected to a battery pack, 3.3 volt regulator underneath. Oh, these are 3.3 volts. If you're going to run 5 volt TTL, they recommend you connect a 1K resistor in series. So I'm running 3.3 on both. You'll see the slave is waiting for a signal because it's connected to the PC there. So before I connect the transmitter, let me just show you the screen. So there's the UART master. The master's got a white dot, the slave hasn't. You have to buy the master and the slave. You can't configure a master as a slave, vice versa. So let me get rid of this. It's the same as before, oh, that's the data sheet for the uh, uh, Bluetooth UART boards. And some simple AT commands, so you send an AT and it comes back in OK if it's working. Uh, if you want to change the board rate from 9 to 6 or 9600, 80 plus the board rate, so like 80 plus 4, they show you uh, some examples down the bottom. 80 plus 4 is 9 6. There we go there if you want to speed them up but for this GPS 96 is okay so I'll, running through these examples here as before using the UART tool in Microelectronica I've already got it established I've disconnected just in case you haven't seen the others so just to remind you if you've got uh, any of Microelectronica software you can go up to tools the top and down to UART terminal. Now remember you don't have to purchase um, the Microelectronica software, it's free and you can use it uh, for programs under I believe 2 kilobytes. Right so drop down to UART terminal because I've already got the device connected the default has gone from COM1 to COM3 which is that's how I know where I am so go connect, I'll clear these. So type in AT at the top here and simply send that string AT and it comes back with OK. And that's where you would type in like a plus and then or shift plus and then the board rate or change the ID name for the receiver, that sort of stuff. Right, so that's how you can communicate with a PC and that simple one pound device down there. Can't believe they make them so cheap. Fantastic. Right, so that's the Bluetooth waiting. Bluetooth slave waiting. So what I'll do, it's flashing to say it's looking for the uh, signal. So I'll connect this battery in here and you see the transmitter has just come on. If 
I'll turn the light off and that's it, they stopped flashing, they've synchronised already. And that's the GPS flashing away to say that's looking for the satellite. And whereas this didn't communicate properly with us, got the little light over there to say it's communicating. And we've got the data on the screen scrolling through. Fantastic. So I would recommend these Bluetooth devices and I wouldn't necessarily recommend these HC11s. There's not any real bonus because the Bluetooth works with everything and these don't regrettably. I think they're slightly more expensive. Been in communication with the seller and he's spoken to the manufacturer but no joy. So communicate with some things and not with others. So these little Bluetooth things are certainly the way to go. I'd uh, recommend them. I've actually um, configured my PIC32 over the back there. I configured that just for simple uh, feedback loop, so UART in, UART out, and that communicates fine with the PC as well, so no problems with these Bluetooth devices. Get some light back on. So obviously I'm only interested in wireless UART for this GPS and things of that nature, but you might want to stream other data. I'll go and stick this in the window. You might even hear the birds singing it so early in the morning. Uh, so I've got that in the window now. It's only sort of 10 feet away. Well, not even that actually. But, uh, and that, will, that GPS will eventually pick up the signal. Uh, and we'll have the correct data, wireless and reliable, so thumbs up to dev kits uh, and these Bluetooth devices. Remember you need a slave and a master, the master's got a white dot, the slave hasn't. Four wires, just power, ground, transmit and receive, and in case you want to look at the back, If I can focus you in a bit more, I think there's like an enable off and on, which you don't actually need to use, and then the state out. Uh, so, that although they are Bluetooth, this will only communicate with the master, and the master will only communicate with this. So, I'm assuming they won't work with a mobile phone. I gave mine a quick try, but not really into mobile phones and Bluetooth, so if you want you wireless UART, give these a go. Thank you very much.